Okay. Hello. Okay, it seems like uh, I am live today. Ah, espérate. Creo que ya lo tengo aquí. Perfect. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, it's done. Uh, I wonder, there we go. Okay, so today, I'm going to update uh, the, the website with a list of changes that I was sent to uh, by the administration team. Um, so basically, this is a short list of the things that I need to update on the website. Um, I'm going to dedicate myself now on this code, uh, in, on this live coding session to basically uh, work on all of these changes. So the first thing I may like to do um, is show you uh, that I already removed Jill Valentine from the roster um, and removed somebody else that is no longer working for the company here. Uh, and now I should be basically just getting, just yet to work. Uh, during the morning, I was watching uh, an optional chapter on the course for Node.js. Uh, I watched the entire thing. Uh, basically, the teacher was adding new links to the website and refactoring some code and making subfolders to organize the views, etc., etc and updating the routes and the controller files to point at the new um, subfolders, you know, uh, refactoring stuff, basically. So what I did was basically remove Jill Valentine from this place. Uh, I, am, I am still don't have access to a delete uh, staff uh, method because I am about to implement uh, query params and um, uh, and dynamic routes because that's uh, that's something I've been I, I am about to be working on in the future. Uh, yeah, right now by just modifying this JSON file, I should be able to add or remove uh, employees from from this page like this. See, um, no problem at all, I guess. So the first thing I'm going to do, let's go here. I do have a Trello board that I use, uh, not working with Bootstrap, that's done already. I'm going to create uh, a new card for every single one of the, of the tasks that, I, that I'm going to do today. So the first one should be, uh, well, maybe I wonder if I can just do this and this, and there we go. Oh wait, didn't didn't work as intended. Okay, that's a little way too big in my opinion. Maybe I can just do this. There we go. Excellent. Something like this will be nice. So I'm going to do a backlog. I'm going to basically uh, copy and paste most of this. Uh, let's see, uh, the first one should be change the first pictures. Okay, so she sent me something on this email. I guess it's this one here. 
that should be quite easy to do. Let's just paste it uh, in Spanish. Maybe that should be more than enough. And let's download this. Okay. And let's um, insert it right here, I guess. Uh, I wonder if I can just upload. There we go. And let's look for the picture. And there we go. Okay, that should be enough. Uh, that's one card. The next one should be... Uh, the second task will be to add a circle under... Oh, I know where that is. I need to... Well, this translates to add a new... Here. A new educational level here. Because uh, I basically just inserted this uh, as a placeholder data, basically. So I'm going to remove this entry here, this card, and replace it with, uh, with Tier 1 year one which is basically workshop one uh, I'm going to copy this uh -huh. and she's actually sending me another picture for that one um, so basically it's going to be pretty much the same thing I did here uh, Maybe I should just uh, cut all of this to make the the actual content more understandable. Because uh, inserting everything there on the name will be way too much. And let's add the next. This picture is going to be used. And obviously I'm going to be um, adding this uh, picture and the other one. Okay, it's processing. It's taking quite a while. I wonder if there was a problem because uh, it's taking a while. It didn't do anything. Okay, I guess I should wait. Oh, wait, the size is way too big. Uh huh, okay, never mind. Uh, I guess I could just. Um, let's take a look at the picture. I wonder why it's too big. 40 megabytes, okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's way too big. Um, maybe. Yeah, it's way too big. I wonder how big are the pictures there. So maybe I can uh, validate the size. Let's see. 500, but okay, 500. Let's say 600 maybe. And this one? Uh, 500, mm, around 500, 600. Okay. There we go. Now this way, I should be able to upload the picture. There we go. Okay. Oh. So what's next? That's the second one. Third one. Uh, okay. This is going to be another card. And I should add the actual information here. Mm-hmm. This could be uh, the same thing as uh, the other card. But I'm going to make it its own just to keep them separate like uh, she wants it to be. 
Oh wait, there is even more information. Okay. I guess here. Just for the time being. Number four. I I think I already did this. Uh so maybe I should request a list of the employees working there. Uh, I guess it's short enough. Just to make it a little brief. Inscripciones. Okay, there's a lot of to do here. Maybe, oh. Maybe remove all that. There we go. Six. Mm hmm. Okay. We can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, more information. Actually, this is going to be more work like this. She copy and pasted everything here. I guess this is already updated. So I'm going to just copy that one and paste it as is. I guess these are questions that I need to replace, remove. Uh, there is another card. I'm basically copy pasting because uh, I need to move forward with this, I guess. Okay. There we go. This is a very brief description of what she wants. Uh, yet I do believe that it's going to require even more code. Perhaps I should think about skipping some chapters because uh, in the course, let me, let me look for it here. On this course, uh, there is a, this is section nine when I'm going to be uh, watching next, reviewing the course. Uh, a couple of these, this chapter, this section nine, I'm going to skip that. Section 10 is going to be skipped, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, and I should maybe skip up until section 16 and watch this first. It's a very short chapter, 10 minutes, uh, just to be able to send email. Uh, I think this should be the next chapter I need to watch just to remember how to make the course to, I think, um, what application? Uh, I don't remember the app. I think it's mail, maybe MailChimp. Uh, I don't remember. There is a third party software here, uh, a framework, a library, I think. And it's been used to send email using Node as a backend. So basically, instead of using um, uh, client code JavaScript, I should be using backend code in order to actually send directly um, the, the contents of the form as an email. And I'm going to be doing that. So maybe I should just watch this chapter. Uh, I don't think this chapter requires a previous chapter in order to make it work. So I'm going to watch this next uh, for the last point, basically. It's going to be a requirement. Uh, and that's basically it for, for this. Uh, okay. Uh, there we go. So, um, I'm pretty sure that that's all. That's everything. Yep. Those are all the changes. Rem I should remind myself that uh, the website is not yet uh, publicly available. So, uh, it's, not, it's not published yet. So, all of these changes are not going to be seen by the client uh, yet. However, I am maybe... I should consider adding an extra card just for that. Um, there we go. 
just publish the website. And the question here would be, well, uh, that's all well and good. But my question would be where? I wonder. Let me see. Deploying our app. I haven't seen this chapter yet. Wow, there is a lot to see here. He's using Heroku. Okay, fine. So my plan will be for this. Uh, perhaps deploying the app is going to require more time than, than I can give it today. So probably I may like to just watch section 29, deploying our app. Uh, I may like to watch this entire chapter before trying anything. Hopefully I should be able to deploy into a Heroku account maybe and be done with it and just uh, redirect the domain from GoDaddy up to Heroku, basically. That will be the plan. Okay, never mind that and never mind this. Uh, so far, so good. I guess that all, uh, everything I guess that everything else should be, I should be able to complete everything on the list except the publish the website to Heroku. Uh, I do vaguely remember how to do that uh, from another course from Angela Yu, but uh, I may like to watch this course first uh, and that chapter in particular. Maybe I can skip up until that chapter and see that chapter directly. And after watching the chapter, I may decide if I am ready to deploy or not. Uh, only time will tell. Well, so let's get to work then. Uh, let's add this over here. There we go. So that's basically the, this is basically what I need to do. Let's get this in progress then. So, uh, oh wait, before anything else, I need to see if I'm going to refactor something else here. I should probably do so. Let's close everything. Okay, I did make some changes here. There we go. That's it. Okay. Uh, maybe I should just push this and merge the model view controller. Maybe not because um, if I recall, the views folder is very cluttered. Uh, I may like to move all of these views. Uh, let's finish uh, the last the last model view controller branch like this. My plan for now will be, let me make this a little bigger. I wonder if you can actually see that. I hope so. So the plan will be to apply some order to the views folder because it's very cluttered here. There is a lot of files on the root on the views folder. So what I may like to do is since all of these views belong to the static content of the website, I may like to create uh, a new folder and call it a static, wait, a static content, just like that. 
and, in, and insert here on this subfolder all the uh, static content views. Basically doing this maybe. Uh, everything but error. error. Error may stay on the root because uh, I didn't write this file anyway. Let's move everything here. Yes. Wow. So static content is going to contain all the the EGS uh, template files. And now the application uh, right now is broken. If I try to render something on the website, I don't think it's going to work. There we go. Because it's not going to find the views anymore. Uh, the route, the route folder is not uh, it, the routes is no are not going to find the files uh, where they are supposed to be. So I need to go back here. Uh, uh, this is this this is okay. Uh, I wonder uh, the first issue here will be, for example, all of these includes uh, need to be fixed. For example, like this. I'm going to copy this. And look for it, uh, let's say like this. And I'm going to replace it with a new hat, which should be up, up one. I need to up one folder and then in, uh, move into the include folder. So that should be it. I'm going to replace 12 instances of that. I see that it already changed that here and I need to modify all the other instances with basically the same process, you know, like this. I need to fix uh, the links to the includes because now that I move everything uh, inside that suit folder, uh, the links that I I was working on are no longer going to be valid. So I need to update all of those with a new location of the include files. Yes. Uh, and I should double check everything because more likely than not, I'm going to be missing something. Okay, like this, for example. There we go. And obviously this. Just like this. Wait. Yes. And that should be for the uh, for the navigation. I wonder if there are special uh, or particular views or templates that require extra, let's see, the includes. Uh, index is going to require carousel. Where are you? Uh, there we go. I can do this manually, I guess. Okay, carousel just happens once. Uh, what else? Maybe I should just look for this. And see what happens. Okay. And um, for what I gather, let's see uh, if there are still broken links. I'm going to figure it out because uh, there is a double dot and that's okay. Let me see. Uh, oh, wait. That was actually okay. Oh, wait. No, never mind. I need to delete that. Okay, here. I need to see on this side, uh, whenever I don't find a double dot, that will be needing uh, a little modification from my part. Let's see. Uh, it seems that, uh, that everything is just fine on the view side. So, okay, I, I move everything inside this static content folder. But now I need to update the static content JS route file in order to point that uh, at the right. Okay, no, not here actually. Let me see. Uh, controller, okay, no, the route is okay. What I need to modify probably is going to be the controller folder, the static content JavaScript. Mm, there we go. 
I need to define here uh, the actual the actual path to uh, the uh, to the file because uh, uh, the path is okay, but the view is no longer be found there. If I let's see if I can, there we go. It's not going to find it. So the controller needs to be updated. Uh, so let's see. Uh, index. The folder is called static content. I'm going to copy that name and paste it here as a folder. See, and that's what I need to do everywhere. Uh, for example, maybe I could just uh, click here and in, and keep inserting uh, cursors all over the all over the file. In the end, just do a simple paste, a single paste should be enough. I am keep pressing on. Oh, okay, and now Control B, and I should have uh, added the the right path to the views in that case this should be war this should be working there we go it's actually working okay that was just refactoring uh in this case all the static content views are going to be included inside this folder and whenever i need to move some of the static content in the future i already know where to actually look into Instead of having a lot all the files on the root folder or the views folder, uh, it would be way easier for me to just uh, open this folder, and I already know that all the static content is is inside this folder. Uh, I wonder if I need to do to refactor something else. I don't think so. Uh, maybe I should hotfix whatever I miss during this process, but I don't think I missed something. I may be wrong. Well, never mind, I guess. Uh, time to refactor everything. Okay, so everything. Let's see this. What what did I do here? Okay, here. Update the to the view files. There we go. And I should add all of this because this was a single step, basically. Let's add everything. And we can see that we did a lot of replacements. So basically, uh, this is your replacements. Mm -hmm. To the new. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not really pointing to the to that, but uh well you 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 get my drift. Uh this is not a specific file. So let's just commit and that's it. Well, close or control K W. Okay, control K W. And that's it. The refactoring process is over. Uh, I already committed. Uh, I already commit everything. Going to okay. So the merge request is done. Uh, or may I say the the merge request is about to be done. If I recall, uh, there we go. Page not found, never mind. Uh, not working the carousel. Didn't I do a mesh request? No. I do have a a pull request. No, this is a carousel and it's no longer there. I think that's weird. Uh, 
everything is up to date. Model view controller. Okay, let's see then. I should have a, a pull request here. Uh, no, I don't see it. There is one because I was able to push. Okay, let's open. Mm -hmm. Let's open. There we go. I do have one. Uh, okay. Ah, but that's not a merge request, is it? Okay, I guess that's weird. Uh, this is the okay. Yeah. So it I wonder what happened here. Because most of the time I, I am always creating the mesh requests at the start. Maybe I didn't do so. But I was able to create a remote branch without a mesh request. So, eh, no problem. Okay. Are you going to submit the mesh request already? Are you going to approve myself and merge into development? Yes. And that's it. Um, I just created the mesh request and move on. Okay, get check out. Deep. You're going to tell me. Okay. And that's fine. Let Let's see. Wait. Okay, here are all the changes. Okay. And the remote developed branch is at the same point as my local developed branch. So that's just fine. Um, it says that I do have a feature map a footer branch, but that's not true anymore. Do I? Let me let me double check. I don't remember. Okay, let's see branches. There are only two. The master branch and the develop branch are all the branches. Okay. Okay, fine. Uh, what else? Okay, so I am on develop. Uh, I need to delete this branch here. Is the lead um yes and now i only had the bellow and master uh now next i'm going to create a new branch to work on the changes proposed by administration so i'm going to hit check out with the b option to create a new branch in case that the branch i want to check out doesn't exist yet and this um this branch should be named uh how are uh, 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 um well this is no longer necessary here uh these are different tickets yet i'm going to use a single uh maybe I should just make different tasks for all of those instead of making uh, a lot of tickets, a lot of cards, maybe one card and list everything as a to-do list. That should be way best, way better, but uh, I don't care. I'm not going to be creating, um, maybe I can link the same mail request to every single one of those. And that will be better. Um, okay. Feature. 
and this should be uh, 2021 dash uh, we are in March uh, March dash 15 dash content dash update see yeah I may like to put here the date uh, of the content update because this name could change could I want this this to basically uh, exist on my commit log history as this because I can the next time I am asked to update the content of the static content or whatever else uh, I can just uh, say you know what this is a content update branch and I and the only thing that is going to be changing is basically the uh, the date basically or that's it maybe uh content update maybe i should just do this because uh, i don't really need the name to hold too much data so maybe content update and uh use lowercase i don't know why i'm complicating myself but content update branch is going to be deleted anyway so eh, who cares and all the commits and branches do have their own id so anyway there we go. Now we are we are working now. Fine. Uh, let's open this. Okay. Uh, the branch doesn't exist yet. So let's make it a thing. Go to control insert shift insert. And now I do have a merge request. And here I should have a new branch. There we go. There is a branch. And there is a merge request. There we go. Mm -hmm. Feature, uh, maybe lowercase. Content update. Maybe I should paste the entire thing here. Yeah, why not? Uh, Maybe I should copy the entire thing. Mm, here. And obviously, uh, a Python formatting will be, will be just fine. Okay. Obviously this is going to view, okay, this is going to work. Uh, maybe this, uh, maybe this, uh, but it's going to get to this, I guess. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Uh, it's tab it, so I'm not too sure about that. So you're going to be two, you're going to be three. What is four? You're going to be four, you're going to be five. Um, eh, I guess uh, it's just data, you know. It's not too, it doesn't look quite nice, but uh, this is a description anyway. So it's good enough for me. And there we go. Okay, the merge request exists now. I should be able to pull this. Content update. There we go. And now, um, the first one says, uh, reads, I need to add a circle under the video, okay. So what this means is basically here on the index page, I need to replace this card uh, with a new one, basically. So the first thing I need 
is probably upload the picture there. Maybe I need to edit the picture first. That would be nice. I wonder. Let's see if I can edit the photo. Mm, maybe I should try to just try to use the picture like this and see if. Um, yeah. Before anything else, let's just try to replace the picture as is. Okay. So for that one what something is going on what happened no uh oh Did I... what happened something happened hello Okay, something weird happened. So here on the public folder, there is an images folder and maybe here I may like to insert that picture. This is the picture here, how much? Uh, okay, so it seems fine enough. Like this. It's a JPEG picture. Okay. So I guess here in the public folder, it should be inside anyway. I already copied that one there. So uh, I'm going to modify a view from the static content. It's going to be index. No, wrong file. There we go. So index is going to have, let's say, there we go. So this is the code for that card. Let me see. Uh, it's going to be called a year. And I need to modify the actual content of that. Oh wait, I'm not supposed to be doing this yet. Okay, I need to modify the first picture on the carousel. Uh, I read, uh, I was working backwards, I guess, let me see. Yeah, this is not the first card. This is the first card. I need to use this picture and mo and use this picture instead of the one being used currently on the website uh, for the carousel so let's see let's open the include folder and open the carousel es file and the first what is the first um uh, let me see uh, no it's not that one Mm hmm let's look for this picture actually let's see the website there we go it's not that one it's this one here this is the first one okay the year one i need to replace that picture okay i already got it here Principal web PNG. There we go. Mm, I'm going to need to edit this picture over and over again. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get it. The only thing that changed was the uh, this data here. I 
I cannot do a simple replace because if you see this, what I'm doing here, what is it? Uh, this, this picture must be at the year one, 2000. Okay, let's open that file. So these are the pictures. This one, this is another one, this is another one, this is another one. And that's the last one. Okay. I wonder how big is it? Uh, okay, here are the dimensions. 600 by 500. Hmm. Okay. Mm, let me think. I think. Oh, okay, I get it. Mm hmm. Mm. So maybe I should use this, uh, the same names and replace maybe the extension. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I should just uh, make some graphical design work here. Yeah, I got to do that. I do have a really nice tool, which is called GIMP. And GIMP is an image editor. The new image manipulation program. That's nice. I'm going to be using the software to edit uh, this picture here. Well, not this picture, but uh, the new version of this picture. Because I'm going to need several versions of the same picture. So this here. Let's open it. There we go. So how big are you? I wonder if I can see. Okay, you are 2000 by 500. Okay, that's nice. Um, that's perfect. Uh, and next, I need a new version. So how big are you? Okay, maybe I should save this dimension somewhere. That's one size. Uh, and you are called 2000. You are the first. No, you are the second one. Okay, so who are you? Oh, I, I guess it's the same picture. Okay. Uh, you are JPEG. Oh, wait. Never mind. I guess it's the same picture anyway. Maybe this. Okay. You are the and the next version is going to be that, and you are called. Oh, I get it.
So ideally, I will need to use a 2000 wet picture, but on this example, uh, I'm getting just a one, uh, one, uh, 12,000 with 80. Okay. And the last one should be this maybe. Nope. Okay. I think the origin, the first one should be maybe uh, 2000 by 500, just to keep the the right uh, aspect ratio for, for the entire process. So I guess that the idea was this. This should be the first picture. This should be the second one and the third one. And there is a last one here. So those are all my sizes. So I guess I can delete all that. There we go. So I need four pictures, four versions of the same picture. And you are 2000 by 500. So the first one is just fine. Uh, the first one is okay. Let me see if it's the same. Okay. Okay, it's the same picture. So the first one is just fine. I may like to replace the the picture with a new name. Mm, not this one. Okay, this one. Maybe I should change the name. Uh, okay, no, let's just keep the name the same. So year one, 2000. And a PNG will be fine, I guess, but I'm going to, uh, well, it doesn't matter here because I'm going to replace, I'm going to export all of this anyway. But let's do that. Uh, export as, and I'm going to go directly into, my root folder, GitHub, uh, no, yes, uh, public images. And here, it should be called, there we go. I want to export as JPEG, or maybe this. This is the new extension format, I guess. Uh, that should be enough. Yes, replace it. Let's remember that I know, I, uh, although I'm replacing a file here, it doesn't really matter that I deleted the, the, the last one because I already have backups of everything, uh, even on another repo. So it doesn't matter. The first picture was, um, was replaced. Now I need to replicate the same thing with the other pictures. So the next size I need is uh, this one here, 14,500. Okay, by 500, there we go. So let's select, I guess. Can I do this? What is this? Oh, I want to select something. There we go. Okay, I guess. Uh, can I pull out a bit? Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. 
I almost there. There we go. So this, right click. Export as, and I'm going to set a new name. Like this, the file already exists. But uh, I may like to export just my selection, and I don't see the option to do so here. Well, let's cancel this. Perhaps I should just uh, cut. Let's see, image. There we go, this one. Nice. And now I can actually export. Export as tier one, 114,000. There we go. Yes, replace. If I replace the same name, I'm not going to need to modify actual code. Just I I am re just replacing pictures. Okay. Uh, why are you there? Okay. Okay. I guess that's fine. Uh, what else? Okay. I deleted something. Maybe. No. Okay, okay, can I uh modify the selection? No, I guess not. How can I there we go. Is this the selection handler? There we go. Uh the next size is uh eight hundred. Whoa, this is going to be very uh, like this, maybe. I don't think this is going to work as I I want. Uh, eight hundred. Uh, as you can see, There we go. That's 800. Uh, I don't think it's going to look too good. Mm. Yeah, because the issue is going to be that uh, this is going to be cut. Well, maybe it should be cut. Uh... Or maybe, I know what can I do. I can select this section here and write down, cover this section up, up down here, or maybe move this or, or, or type something there like this. Now, but this is white. I need to pick the actual color from there. Uh, is this tool? No. I do remember this. This is the color selector. There we go. Maybe this. There we go. And now I just need to replicate this. 30. No. Uh, why not? Are you serious, dude? Is this color? No. No. Okay, I got I got it. So where is it? Okay, I'm picking the color again. But um and I want to use that color. Okay, it looks like it actually works now. Uh, okay, why is not working? 
look like here is working maybe i need to create a new um a new text there we go that that's it let's see maybe 50 and see now uh, this font is not good uh let's try it out like this first yeah. C B R uh zero zero I think it is H I U so here is the click uh this is the clave the uh, the ID I guess but um the font is not good maybe bold no way too big oh come on Give me a good font, please. A sans serif would be nice. Maybe sans serif bold with a, a smaller footprint like this. That would be nice. And basically, why are you so big? There we go. And that's it, basically. I can, uh, can I move something? With M. No. There we go. That should be enough. So my plan would be to actually remove all here down here. So for that, uh, I may like to do this. Maybe this and remove all of this. Maybe up to here. Can I just uh, delete something there? Control X. No. Uh, I am selecting this. Maybe I can just move it. No. Maybe the layer I'm choosing is a different one, so I need to choose this. And now I can delete that. Oh wait, yes. Seems to be working. Okay, can I clear the selection? Thank you. Oh, come on. There we go. Maybe up to here. There we go. It's going to be it's going to look weird. Hmm. Never mind. Uh, somewhere around here, maybe. Now, can I modify this text? There we go. So, this should be enough. I just need to go back here and. Uh, this is not going to be needed. This layer here. I'm really bad as a graphic designer. <laughs> uh, but uh, I do know just enough to get the job done. Uh, let's see. I'm going to need a filling tool. I wonder where, where that is. Let's see. No, what's this? Okay. Can I shift B? There we go. And can I uh, use this maybe? I wonder if orange will be a nice color. No, didn't happen. How do I choose the other color? Oh, there we go. That looks uh, nice. Um, it's not awful. Maybe a white color will be better, but uh, uh, I don't care enough uh, for these details. Um, maybe this color is just fine. Yeah. Now, let's uh, go back here, I guess. 
and uh, let's select control A no control A no control A there we go it looks nice that's okay now It must be five hundred. Come on. There we go. Five hundred. Oh my God. Again. No. Control A. I'm selecting everything. But the. Uh, Okay, so where is the selection editor? Is this one here? Oh my god, never mind. Can I? No, I'm just going to move. Well, it doesn't really matter. Let's just make it manual then. Uh, and try to. Uh, and the thing is, I'm not doing it right. Must be five hundred tall. There we go. Come on, five hundred. There we go. And now, uh, what's the size? Eight hundred. Uh, will be around uh, here. There we go. That's 500. There we go. This should be a nice position. Export as, and you are 800. Eight hundred JPEG. Oh wait, it's not going to work because uh, I'm not cutting anything. There we go. That's the new picture. Yes. Okay, replace. Yes, thank you. There we go. And the last picture should be 600. Okay. Why is not showing me? Thank you. I need you to be 600. I wonder if this is going to be fine. Oh my God. But the issue is Less is more. 600. And 500. There we go. So this is the size. I should center this as most as I can. Uh, it doesn't look pixel perfect, but uh, I don't care anymore. Oh, wait. Maybe I can actually do it like this. Ah, oh, wait. Here. Can I, uh, wait, did I move the selection for the bottom right? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh my God, come on. No, wrong. Here. No, wrong. Wrong tool, there we go. Okay. Hmm, can I delete everything? No. Ah, oh, because I'm not with the right tool. There we go. So maybe I can do this. 
and I need 600. There we go. And 500 tall. 500. 600. And uh, that looks good enough. There we go. Now image. There we go. And that's my last picture. This is my last picture. Place. And that should be it. Uh just like that if i don't i don't need to modify anything else there we go that's the new code so i i do assume that everything is fine so i'm going to just check it out uh okay that's the first picture go back that's the second picture second oh come on Third picture and four picture, the last one. Uh, I guess the button there doesn't look good on the phone. Yeah, no, that doesn't look and uh, good. That looks pretty bad actually. Mm. Yeah, no, looks really bad. I wonder if I can move that particular uh, button up a little bit. I think I can. Maybe move the entire button up here. Maybe I can do that. Let's try. Oof. Did I change anything? What did I change? I don't see changes. What happened? Uh, something changed. Wait. Oh, yeah. I I did actually change the name um of the card, but that doesn't really matter that much right now. Uh, this one here, that year, it was. I changed this. So never mind. The um. Move back. Let's move back a little bit. This looks good enough. However, if I move um, to other size, the next size here. Now that looks awful. This doesn't look any good. I cannot longer read the actual code for the for this. Hmm. Uh, that's all well and good. Okay. Let's try to fix that one. Uh, okay. Maybe I don't need to. Start one file. Okay. So I am starting new. Yeah, don't save. Hmm. Uh, carousel. Okay, this is this is it. I don't need to modify the links anymore because I just re uh, replace the pictures directly. Now, what do I need to change? What is the link? Here, there is a button here. Perhaps. Perhaps I can play with the alignment. Or a simpler a simpler solution would be to let's uh, let's read some documentation for Bootstrap. Mm -hmm. Bootstrap 5 margin spacing basically. Okay. 
So let's see, didn't change too much. The property, the size and the size. So it would be, I guess, margin, bottom and five maybe. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So maybe I can do this, margin, bottom, five. Let's see what, what it does. It didn't do anything. Uh, did I? Oh, no. Uh, it did it, but uh, the container is going to limit my movement. It will be maybe here. See? There we go. This should be uh, allow the button to move upward a little bit. Just enough to to avoid um uh, to avoid overlapping on the on on the clave so let's see mm -hmm. nice it's not pizza perfect uh, but it does the job there we go just good just enough to to not overlap too much with the text on top now it that looks awful, but uh, uh, I guess. Mm. Well, that's not actually. Uh, let's see, real, um, real. Uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, looks pretty bad actually. Well, not too much, I guess. Uh, on this version, it doesn't really matter that much, or do I? What I could do... I wonder if I can put the entire thing up. Because I don't have anything but the, but the, but the button link, and that's it. Maybe moving this on top will be uh, the way to go. So margin bottom five. That was a good solution, but uh, I wonder if I can. Mm. Let's analyze this here. Okay. That's the container. Go back. That's the container. Carousel caption D block. Mm -hmm. Margin bottom five. Okay, I tried that one. Mm -hmm. Perhaps I could just remove the button here and maybe apply the link to the actual background picture. That could be a solution. Let's see, display block. Uh, maybe display a small none. I think it's this. Display a small none. Maybe that's a thing. Let's see. It's not doing anything. Uh, I don't remember how this is done. Maybe this, because uh, the renaming seems to be that way. No. I think that changed. Okay. The display property. Okay, it, it reads display dash value. Okay, for extra small. Uh, display dash breakpoint dash value. Okay. So the notation should be display dash breakpoint dash value. Okay, none is the value and the breakpoint should be a small. Okay, let's try that one. Okay. Should be display dash 
sm for small dash value none and that should be it i do i am overlapping that with display block so maybe i am wrong here maybe i should say you know what display none but uh as soon as you get to md maybe apply a display block and then margin bottom five should be applied like this to the entire dev uh, that should be enough maybe let's see i should not be able to see the button that's fine uh, up until uh, let's try more sizes that's the phone the ipad uh, on the ipad i can actually see the link and perhaps what i need now is um maybe that's just good enough uh maybe i should allow uh, a link to the entire picture yeah that may, that may be a good idea man maybe mm -hmm. maybe surround the entire picture to the yes for example yes maybe surrounding the entire picture structure on this like this you see with beautify there we go and now uh copy the link this link here like this and now if they click on the picture they should actually go to the link itself I wonder if I can condition um, this link to a specific size. I think I can. Oh no, let's click. Okay, let's see. Let's try it out. And now let's click on the picture. Nice. Okay. Uh, but let's move to uh, to a phone. And no button, I click on the picture and that's fine. I think I'm going to leave it just like that. It, it, it's obviously going to to take me there anyway, so if I misclick, I wonder if I can disable the link. Mm. Okay, let's see the documentation. Perhaps this link could be allowed to disappear. Okay, let's see. Mm. Because um, let's try to apply the same class for the actual link, and that may be what I need. If I apply a class here, uh, it's going to be equal, wait, class? There we go, thank you. And I'm going to apply, uh, let's say, the link should appear only during the extra small and small sizes. From medium onwards should be display, medium, none. Uh, and that should be it. From medium onwards, it should be none. Uh, and maybe display block. Let's see what happens there. There we go. Oh my God, it's affecting the entire picture. No, uh, because it's enclosing the entire thing. Crap. Yeah. It's only going to appear during a small sizes. Let's see how can I disable the link. Uh would make everything just work fine. How can I mm, 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 mm.
Okay. There is a disable. Okay. I need a button class, btn disable, and it's that disable link, okay. But if I do this, it's going to look like a button. I know that. No. Let's try it out anyway. Okay. Let's see, button disable. btn and disable it's, it's taking me there anyway it should be disabled it's a button but uh it's not disabled close button ref pagination control disable state uh class button close Okay, there was some changes here. The button type, can I format a link? I said you say no, this is plus button. Disable range it says no. Maybe links. Link. Color length, mm, no. Mm. Mm. I know what. You know what? I wonder if I can enclose with this link a particular picture like this. If I and let's say that I remove this thing and I put it here. There we go. Let's say that I only need two sizes or one size. Let's cut this code and enclose the actual source as part of the pitch. I don't think that's going to work anyway. Mm. Okay, it's going to be just a small like this. If I do this, but uh, control X, I guess, no. If I move this inside, and now format will beautify. Uh, the href is working, I guess. So here, I am enclosing the image inside the link. With the smallest size, maybe I don't think that's going to work. Because it's a picture, so mm, I don't think that's going to work. But uh, let's try it anyway. Uh, oh no, didn't work. It looks pretty bad. Yeah, nah, that's not going to work. Mm, let's remove all that. Yeah, that was a dumb idea, I guess. Okay, there we go. Let's think. Mm. If I disable with display, the picture is going to disappear also. Hmm. What can I do? Maybe I can disable the link dynamically let's see if i can do that with a bootstrap class disable a link in bootstrap okay it's the same thing yeah it doesn't matter btn disable hmm no, doesn't matter. How to disable links? Uh, just don't do it. Uh, well. <clears throat> I 
It's not text. It's going to be a picture. <coughs> okay. If I remove that, I can do that with JavaScript, but that's going to be too much. Mm. No, I don't want... Oh, my God. Uh... Mm-hmm. Mm, no. No, 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 no. I just want to use classes. I wonder if there is a class just for that. No. <sighs> uh, I, I don't want to clutter. And I don't want to add... Uh, JavaScript as a static file. What I can do is um. What can I do? Uh, you know what? If I already have the link, I I guess that removing the link will be just enough. Because uh, most of the time. No, let's think, let's think, let's think, let's think. I should be able to remove that. Maybe it's going to be too much. But uh, I think if I ask for the size of the viewport here, inside this, Okay, I, I do have an idea, but uh, hmm. Okay. If I remove the href attribute, that's going to disable the link. Okay, now in node. No, that will be EGS. EGS. How to. A link. No, how to ask. For this, no, but that's going to be at render time, not dynamically. How to no, that's going to send. Depending on uh, or viewport size, viewport size. Okay. That's a nice idea, actually, to use the media queries in CSS. Display none and display, but uh, in the end, that's pretty much the same thing that I am doing. That's the same thing. But, um, mm. uh, yeah, that's the media query. Mm. That's the thing. Mm.
Yeah, he's playing with display with the display property uh, for the link, but it's going to bring. Well, you know what? Maybe I'm thinking too much about it. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I should just uh, add this um, and close the entire picture here and not being able to disable that. Maybe that's what I need to do and, and continue with my life. <laughs> because I don't want to use JavaScript for this. Uh, and I don't, and I cannot come up with something better. Um, maybe I can, but uh, I need to use my time more efficiently. And this is just, I just picking details at this point. So eh, not enough. There we go. And if I click the actual button, it's going to send me there. there go. And if I inspect everything, there we go. Let's try the iPhone X. It doesn't show, but I can click on here. See? And if I try the iPad, now I see the, the button there. And I can click using the picture too, I guess. Let's say that's a feature, not a bug. <laughs> and more sizes, you know. There we go. Uh, perhaps I should remove the entire button anyway. Uh, the whole button should be removed, maybe. Uh, that look that doesn't look that too bad, I guess. Uh, the button is uh, is bothering me a little bit. Maybe I should remove the button itself and uh, allow the picture to be able to be clicked on. I don't know. Maybe that's just good enough. Go back to full screen. The button works. And the picture works as a lane too. And that's good enough, I guess. Uh, okay. Oh, wait. It's about time. I need to go somewhere else. I need to get something to eat. And I'm going to be back later, but I want to push change. Wait, something changed here. Uh, I guess beautify, modify something else. Don't care too much. Um, let's see. Mm. Um, basically just copy the relative pad, this file, let's push it, why not? Uh, okay, so that's one commit. I'm going to be back later. I need to get something to eat. Uh, here, I guess I can consider this one done. Okay, I basically just replaced with a new picture. Mm, I can consider this one done, yeah. And the next one should be this. This is going to be in progress now. Um, let's add. Okay. Oh, nice. It's already here. Wait. Let request. No, that's not it. Oh no, yeah, yeah, that's all right. That's fine. Okay, so uh, I'm going to be back to do this after I get something to eat. Thank you for coming in, and see you later. Wait, what? Hello? That's weird. Hello, 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 hello? Hello, hello, hello?